Well, top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Evil Man Buck, and welcome back to the Landscape series. And one thing's for certain, I am alive. I am still here, still valid. And you guys see that we did do a little bit of a different intro. I know I'm going to get some hate because of the fact that it's a very particular song that somebody probably knows what it's from. But I enjoy it. I think you guys, I think it's just a nice little spiff up. And plus, since I've been gone for a while... Uh, we needed to kind of get back on there. Uh, being the campsite host, which that is actually now a thing, um, I am the campsite host for this area. They're going to be adding on another one, maybe. I don't necessarily know, but we're going to be pulling the camper out here in the next day or two. Get that out of there. I'm, I just want to go home and sleep in my own bed. But as you guys also saw in the title itself, um, we're moving. We're getting the heck out of Dodge. Uh, there's, a, there's a property that I found about 30 miles south a little bit closer to uh, my home area so we're still gonna kind of stay up here when it comes to campsites we'll still come out here visit still come camp it's just that we're gonna be a little bit further away now rather than in town that also means that the landscape shop is getting another location because where the lands because where the homeowner series goes the landscaping series will follow so it'll be a lot of work but as for right now let's just get into Thunderbird and let's just make our way back to pretty much the house because we got to go pick up a u-haul which you guys probably also saw in the thumbnail pretty nifty eh? i like that thing i know they don't offer like super cab not super cab i know they don't offer extended cab trucks like that especially the super duties so it's a little bit different but hey i like my things a little jazzed up you guys probably noticed that it is based off of the um, in essence, Wood River Trucks, which that's also something, uh, there's, there's just a lot of information to catch you guys up on that, uh, in time, slowly, I'm gonna try and get back onto things. Man, this thing does not have very good power steering. Uh, you guys can also see I'm driving on the, uh, keyboard and mouse. I decided that for today. I didn't really want to plug my steering wheel back in. There'll be an update video to my entire setup. There's just a whole lot that's going on. And... I'm really excited to show you guys that. We also have a big, 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 big project coming up IRL. I'm going to try and get some footage of. But while we're at it, we're just going to take it nice and slow here in Thunderbird. Get up on the highway, get up the highway speeds, and cruise along. And I'll see you guys back at the house. Oh, and by the way, you can hate me later. I kind of spaced for a second that this was a Ranchero, not a Thunderbird. It's close enough, all right? They're... They're, they're both Fords, but we will be getting a handful of uh, things packed up. We already got a majority of the stuff in the garage, being all of our yard equipment. Uh, we actually had to take down the shed in the backyard because when they constructed it, the timber they used for the shed wasn't treated right, so there was a lot of mold that actually grew in it uh, from a couple of rainstorms that we've had. I've had that shed up now for about three years. I never really noticed the problem, but it was really starting to get apparent when the last uh, rain came in, being that it just smelled horrible in there. And it, I ended up looking into the rafters, pulling off the inside of it, and it, it was bad. It, it, it was just really bad. It was, it was nasty. So we had to get that taken down. The new owner, who's actually already purchased the property, we already had the realtor, they already had a realtor come out. We got the place sold. Pretty nice profit. It was going to help us out, but we're going to build a new site out on the new area, and we actually have to get everything out here. So we don't. I don't want to take the Ranchero all the way to the U-Haul space, so we're just going to leave that here, and we'll get in the Monty because I don't want to take the truck for gas. But we also have to go stop by Kevin's over there at Pinewood Trailer Sales and rent one of the big box trailers. Not box trailers, but like the big enclosed trailers so we can... I'll haul a little bit more stuff. I'll have to move the Ranchero when I get back. Which I might as well just do now since I won't be back here. So we'll just park this up quick. I have never seen worse power steering. There we go. We'll just keep that in the garage right now. Uh, we are going to keep a majority of our cars that we've done on this series, um, bringing them over to the next one. It's just that, like I told you guys, I want to I wanna spice it up a little bit, get things a new fresh look. What's not to love about a fresh look? Now, a handful of you are already going to be in the comments section. I already know that this is going to be something I'll have to deal with, but 
Um, a handful of you people are logically asking, so where's the dodges? Where's all that stuff? You said you were going to do all these releases and whatnot. We only got two out of five. I'm getting to them now. Like I said, I just kind of got back from my month break that I needed to take mentally. So the truck, don't you worry. The mods will come out. I'm just taking things one step at a time here, folks. You gotta work with me on that. But I'm kind of excited to at least get everything else moving along here. I'm gonna see if we can't possibly get to the gang together. Grant and I were talking. We want to bring uh, the farming series back, so that means Wood River's gonna make another appearance. I still have to get some stuff set up for that. And just everything just kind of just goes with the flow. We need to just take some time, get things set up and ready to go and get ready for FS22. You guys already did it in the poll that I put out. I might work on a big map. I don't know. I don't know how to work on maps, so this will be an interesting spot. But U-Haul's just down here by Dollar General and all that stuff. There's the two box trucks. I think we're going to get one of those. We'll have to talk to Stevens, the guy I was on the phone with. Let's see. Park it up right here. It's only 9 o'clock. Eh, no one parks here anyway. Let's take those spots. Hey, Steven! Which one's mine? Buck. Yeah, Buck. Should be that last name. Alright, I got truck five. Alright. So that's... Which one has the hitch? Because that's the one I ordered. Ah, it's this one. Okay. So this is our 2013 Ford F550. 65,000 miles on it. It's not bad, really, for a movie thing. And for being... 8 years old now? Only have 65,000? That is not bad at all. So this thing, we're going to head over to Kevin's now. Get everything set up for that. Because we already know that this is going to be a tremendous amount of work to haul everything by stupid butt for keeps. I'll probably end up selling... I've already sold a few things on eBay. Uh, like my grill, I'm gonna get a different grill when I get out to the new place as the other one I, I like that Weber, but there's a few Traegers that I was looking at that were really nice And plus I wanted to get into some of the wood pellet stuff you can mix uh, It's a little bit cheaper in my opinion than getting propane, but uh, I might still stick with the propane girls gas grills I don't know. I'm not a big fan of charcoal ones unless you're like barbecuing That's about it, but I guess we'll see you guys at Kevin's, and then afterwards we will get to the shop and my house and start loading things up. Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in circle, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got that sunshine on my Sunday bed. And in the world of about get T-Bone, there's the idiot driver Karen back there. But I really think that uh Oh here we are. Oh the missile turn. I think that's our trailer back there. It should be that big um white one. Correct. Go talk to him quick. Hey Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one, it's in the back. Alright. You might have to, un isn't it a pencil? No? It's a regular receiver? Yeah. Alright, sounds good, bud. Thank you. So he says he's already pretty much got it ready for us, conveniently. Kind of always goes that way when you're doing this, but uh, we'll load up the back. We're going to hook up to it, obviously. Uh, this will be mainly for a lot of, like, my mowers and whatnot. Since the majority of like, the furniture I'm going to try and fit in the truck. Make sure this is all attached back here. Perfect fit. But yeah, I ended up doing a little bit of work to this. If you guys don't know, this was my race trailer back in the day. I just tweaked it up a little bit, cleaned it up, made it a little bit nicer. Uh, really fits nicely with this U-Haul. That is a very big plus. I still want to talk to Kevin about possibly getting that skid steer trailer. I know I have mine from the landscape shop, but I don't think I'm going to carry that one. Actually, I might carry that one over from this location. I really did like that uh, silver body. Always performed really well, and because it had no gates on the side, just it really was nice with all this. Uh, ah, we're gonna be breaking laws here. It was just very nice for our skid steer, not having to worry about clanking on the rails. That of the tracks getting caught, trying to turn it or something. But what I think we're gonna do is we'll drop the trailer 
and start loading. We'll put the gate down on the trailer and then we're going to load the mowers and maybe some of the big stuff into the trailer. And then we can do... I don't know. I guess we'll figure this out in a minute. I'll catch you guys in just a second once we get out this all figured out. Okay, so Kevin decided to give me the trailer that conveniently did not have any of the tie-down straps in the corners. So we only have the tie-downs that are up front here in the mom's attic and like right in front of this door. This was mainly a race hauler, so they just held the, the, um, the toolbox up front. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the furniture in that trailer and we'll put the mowers in the truck. I'm going to see if I can't put the zero turn in this, maybe along with the GS45. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Oh. I have not driven keyboard in a while, so this could be interesting. the challenge all you gotta do is leave it better than you found it it's gonna get difficult to stand but hold your balance i just say whatever cause there is no way you're around it everyone falls down sometimes but you just gotta know it'll all be fine it's okay But nothing works, you feel surrounded Gotta give your feet some gravity to get you grounded Keep good things inside your ears just like the waves and sound it And just say whatever cause there is no way you're grounded Everyone falls down sometimes But you just gotta know it'll all be fine It's okay Alright, so while we get our last thing loaded up here into the trailer, which should be our wheelbarrow, uh, the only other things that we really need to do is projectile launch the thing into the sky, because the stratosphere is apparently uh, apparent for this thing. Uh, but we'll load this thing up, and that should be good at least for this area. Like I said, I'm already, I already sold my grill, so we don't really need to go back to the other shop and get anything. Because of the fact that should be good. Uh, we got the Toro as well as the pressure washer in the 550. And then we can get the truck, the trailer. We're going to have to do all this stuff. As for right now, we don't have anything on the property. So if you guys would like to see a video on me building the property, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to go and get something ready to go. Spiff it up. Just surprise you guys on what it looks like. Um... Which I think I actually want to do. I'll just surprise you. So we're just going to hop right here in the 550 and we'll get everything hooked back up. We're on the road to more than likely um, over to the shop just to make sure that I have everything I need. We're going to be likely selling off the Yamaha in place for either another speedboat or something down the road. I'm not 100% sure. I just know that the Yamaha itself... I 
I don't really have, I don't use it nearly as much, but I would like to update to something else. Maybe a Malibu, maybe a Hayliner. I'm not 100% sure. I really like my cruising boat, so we're definitely keeping the pontoon. But we're going to get on the road here. We, we can leave garage doors open. Should be good. I think I have my buddy Jaren coming over. He'll, he'll close the doors, if anything. But we'll see you guys at the shop. We're just going to make sure that we have everything that we need before we head out to the new place, which, like I said, it will also be a just a big surprise. I'm going to surprise you guys. We're, we're up and leaving good old Pinewood. I loved this place. It was an absolute blast. I'm glad you guys could stick around for it. But things in time need to change a little bit, so that's exactly what we did. And we'll get ready to go in the new series here within the next couple of days. I'll get everything swapped, updated, and ready to go. Landscape shop, we're leaving Tim in charge. Uh, he'll be the new, um, in essence, co-owner of the building. I'm still going to be the main boss, because I am, again, the owner of the buildings themselves, the company. But he will now be the main manager of this location. And with that being said... Uh, that's probably going to do it for this video, guys. Be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You already know who is in it. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see more of in this game. As I know that this uh, 19 is coming to a little bit of an end to its life, but you can always find something new and interesting in this game to take care of. I think I got everything I need out of there. Uh, we're going to be getting all of these cars and it's just going to be a pain in the butt. We're just going to drive them and have some buddies come over and help us out. But I'm going to hop inside the shop quick and get the shop door. Ah, that's right. We've got our own load trail we still got to take. So everything in here, this is all going to be coming to the new shop. More than likely, like I said, we might sell off the Yamaha. Not 100% sure what we'll do with this yet. Uh, but that's going to do this one. Thank you guys so much again for checking this one out. There will be more to come with this in the future. I do a little bit more with the U-Haul. But I'll see you on the next one. See you then. And...